As the year comes to an end, we look back. We look back at the year of 2023 and we see that, you know, there have been a lot of unfortunate events for Sony. So much so that it has Xbox fans and Nintendo fans doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sick ponies? But let's forget about that. Let's stop looking in the past and let's look to the future. Today we are going to ask the question, what is Microsoft's future? What is Sony's future? That is what we are going to ask today. In addition to that, we are going to talk about how id is making a brand new game. There's a rumor of id making a brand new game. We'll also talk about more gaming news. So you know what? Let's get it. This is a sickness. Let's get it. So before we take a look at the future, let's live in the present. Let's hit that subscribe button. And guess what? It's free 99. Yes, free 99. So hit that subscribe button. So let's start the first news topic. And the first news topic ties in well with Xbox future. You see, for Xbox Future, what we are seeing is one word, games. Yes, games are what we are looking at for Xbox Future. Because there is a new rumor that id Software or id Studio, the same guys responsible for Doom and Quake, you know, they are making a brand new game. But let's listen to this article here to see exactly what we could expect. Doom Dev reportedly working on Star Wars Mandalorian for Xbox. After reports of the Knights of the Old Republic remake being cancelled, fans have been longing for more Star Wars games. While PlayStation fans continue to wait for an update, Xbox users might be in for a pleasant surprise soon. Id Software, best known for the Doom and Quake franchises, is reportedly working on a Star Wars licensed game exclusive to Xbox. Nice. Why it matters. This move could give Xbox a major advantage over PlayStation since the remake was expected to be a big exclusive for Sony. The news comes from the leaker Extas Ones, who has heard rumors that a new Star Wars game from the Doom developers could be targeting a 2024 or 2025 release. While this is just a rumor for now, the idea is certainly interesting. Earlier this year, an EA technical artist released a concept art for a Mandalorian-themed game, which looked stunning. If id Software is indeed developing a Star Wars game, they will be using their in-house id Tech 8 engine. Combining this engine with the rich universe of Star Wars could lead to splendid results. Since id Software specializes in shooter games, a Star Wars game should be a natural fit for the studio. In the past, EA and DICE have worked on Star Wars Battlefront, their own FPS series based on the IP. Therefore, a similar game, but with the fleshed-out narrative of The Mandalorian, could be a major hit. Following the leak, many believe a first-person style might not be the best pick for a Star Wars game. However, we are confident that id Software will not disappoint. Even if the studio wants to transition to third-person gameplay for this title, the team is more than capable of making this shift. And there you have it. Xbox might be sealing a deal for an exclusive Mandalorian game. Now this is a big blow to Sony because not too lo long ago they announced uh, that they would be getting an exclusive remake of Star Wars Koto. And we know that um, since then it has been revealed that that game has been shelled. Now for Microsoft to make a deal with uh, the Star Wars team to get a Mandalorian game is basically them coming with the alley-oop over Sony. But not only that, not only is Microsoft getting, you know, these exclusive games, um, you know, big games like this Mandalorian, but listen to Jeff Grubb and them say something about uh, Microsoft roadmap. Listen up. 2024, you know, you can go look up a roadmap and I would say to a degree, Xbox fans are used to this, right? <laughs> Don't worry, we got you next year. Like 2023, I think, was the first answer. No, no, no. 
we've got this now. I mean, they've had a really mm. good year. One miss, you know, critically with Redfall. I know it's in a lot better state now. Um, but they landed well with Starfield. They landed fantastically with Hi-Fi Rush. They and did if well you're going to count expansions and DLC, they've published like 10 or 11 things this year and had constant live service updates. Exactly. So they're, they're, they're like, and their roadmap now as we look forward is is very exciting. Uh, we Do you know, know something else? Cool. From, from what I'm hearing, their roadmap is also far longer than it once was. So normally your your standard roadmap is like your five to ten years. I think Microsoft's out to like ten to fifteen now. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Insane. Yeah. Because because of how much they've got, their roadmap now goes like fifteen years ahead. Because that's yeah. when and Perfect Dark finally comes out is in fifteen years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Perfect Dark is twenty thirty five. Towards twenty twenty. So why do Sony fans there are fighting up with console sales? We are seeing what Microsoft is doing. We are seeing that they are laying a very solid foundation for the next 15 years for their, um, you know, platform. You know, and this year was a very interesting year for Microsoft, a very good year. Not only did they launch more than uh, uh, four first party content, but in addition to that, they would have won the um, acquisition of how it named Activision Blizzard and also would have solidified their place revamping their uh their showcases um, you know showing new brand new content microsoft is just firing on all cylinders in 2023 now um there's even more rumors stating that microsoft is going to have a crazy 2024 but we'll have to wait and see but so far the future is looking great for microsoft not only that they have the studios, not only that they have the, the games, but we are seeing that their consumers would be, you know, eating well because of Game Pass. So let me hear what you think about Microsoft future. Um, would you like to see them improve in other aspects? Um, would you like, the, like to see, you know, even more games announced or updates to the more than 30 games that they would have um you know announced over the years let me know that in the comment sections below now let's talk about playstation you see what could i say about playstation future for the entire year of 2023 most of the playstation fans have been acting like this after seeing all the news We're talking about games being cancelled, we're talking about studios closing down, we're talking about, you know, employees being fired. And guess what? This was one of Sony's most profitable year ever. So Sony um, being hacked several times of the year, leaks and so forth. Um, Sony did not have a good year. On top of that, they, uh, you know, showed or announced or revealed baby steps baby steps was <laughs> baby steps let's just leave it there so playstation was not having a good year well just to add to that we have some rumors about playstation and it's not like the rumors like microsoft there yeah, with the mandalorian being made by it and so forth it is some things that the sony fans might know all too well because it's this the original god of war trilogy is rumored to be getting a remaster so yes you know um most sony fans were looking for some new ip to be announced some new um you know games to be revealed but it seems like sony is continuing the uh, remastered and the remake um train going now this looks like the future for um you know the playstation more remasters more remakes to basically suck and milk their consumer base dry but not only that in addition to you know the remasters and the remake we are seeing that sony wants their um, fan base not only to strengthen their hands but sony wants their consumers to start to use their feet also look at this Sony sticks its foot into VR. 
pattern reveals trackball foot controller that boosts immersion for players in smaller rooms. Sony aims to solve the challenge of immersive play in space-constrained environments. Sony has submitted patterns that show plans for two types of foot-operated controllers for augmented reality and virtual reality games and other immersive applications. Several drawings in this pattern shows these movements reading peripherals, one using a ball or two and the second using a touchscreen surface both on a uh, design to be operated by the user's feet. The one or two ball operated devices seems to be meant for simple movement. Meanwhile, the touch sensitive pads with proximity sensors capabilities can provide more complex controllers. According to the pattern, both types of controllers may have a built in CPU and memory to calculate and translate input movements to the user's game or application. So, this is it. So, this is it. Sony is trying to strengthen the feet of, uh, you know, their Sony fans, their fans. Um, so are you ready, ponies? Are you ready to strengthen your feet? So forget about, um, you know, um, making a strong security system. Forget about, me, um, you know, diverting money to get new games and releasing new games. The future of Sony is feet. More and more feet. So let me know what you think about this. In the meantime, you know, there are Sony fans, they are so salty about the year, they're even bullying kids online. When kids are happy for their Xbox, getting their Xbox because they celebrate Christmas, these ponies are attacking them, saying that, you know, they should have gotten a PlayStation 5. I tell you guys, these ponies are sick. Sick in their mind, sick in their hearts. But don't worry, we have the cure. But let me hear what you think about all the information that we spoke about today. Let me know in the comment sections below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.